Hey, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today, we're going to clean a couple of these relays. Um, and then I'm going to unscrew these and we're going to get them flipped up so you can see how I start to vacuum these machines. Um, these are pretty easy. Um, so, let's just go through them. Just gonna, you're going to use this relay and we're going to open and close them. I'm going to do a quick adjustment on that one. I just did a um, video on adjusting these. So what you do is you just want them to, so they all move freely. I know you can't really see it that good. Um, you just want to make sure that they all move freely and they all open and close and they all got a little wipe to them. And I also like to keep them all have the exact same gap. Let's get you on there anyways. So you can see what I'm doing. As you can see, I just tweak these a little bit. Because not all of them were opening like the same. That one needs two tweaks. That one, uh, the leaf is bent two ways. There we go. It was bent like on an arch. So I want to take the arch out of it so it was flat again. I'm just doing little tweaks. All right. Let's put those right there. And then again, just to clean them. I cleaned that one. It's got a dot on it. I did. I just did that in a video. And I believe I cleaned this one in a video too. But I guess it doesn't really matter because we're doing it again. This is just um, 600 grit sandpaper, and I'm just closing the contacts. so we can get them cleaned. And then I use my little marker, and I put a dot on each one that I've cleaned. All right, I'm just gonna finish these real quick, and then we'll be back on the next video, next part of the video, and I'll show you how I lift them up. All right, I lied. I'm gonna show you how to do these ones real quick. These have the um, ready lock. So what I do is um, I'll hold this with one finger and I can just operate it manually with my hand. Sorry, try not to block you. I need to take a rip a little bit of this off. That way I get a new fresh piece to work with in the middle. And that's how you um, do one of these latch relays. All these wires in the way. You know what? We'll just get this one out of the way real quick too. Might as well. That one. Got a lot of corrosion on it. There we go. Dirty contacts, yes you were. Dirty contacts. can't see anything anyway, so what does it matter, hey? I'll try to put a link of that um, 
video I just did on this tech tip and cleaning these. This one is just, I'm gonna push on that one actually to get it even tighter when I clean it. That one's just got a lot of buildup on it. There we go, beautiful. And then we just check on their movements. Let's give this one just a little tweak. This one right here, we will turn it that way a little bit. So it opens and it's got a better close. And same with this one. They're all opening and closing. And this one. And this one. You don't want to blow too much. Too much still. Come on, bend. It just doesn't want to bend. Yeah, now we go too far. There we go. All right. How we're going to do this is very, very easy. First we're going to widen you out. We're going to remove all these screws. Do I get a good battery in here? Just going to remove all these screws here. Let's go on the other side. See the screw is easy. Come on, let's get in there. These screws here that are going through to hold the stack are messing with me. There's no screw there. There's one screw here. Take a picture of those. Make them a quick video. Okay, here's these screws. So you know how to do them when you're done. pocket. All right. Those, are those are going to come out? No, those are going to hang in there, so I don't even have to do that. They do come out. Yeah, that one's going to... Get the screws out of here. Put them over here, totally out of the way. Now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna flip these backwards, which is fun to do sometimes. I've actually had to have my kids come and help me with these before. Okay. So let me get a picture of that nastiness. 
the reason why I need a picture is because the owner of this game, I like sending him updates. All right, vacuum cleaner time. Now for vacuum cleaners, I highly recommend a shop vac vacuum cleaner. The reason why is because the home vacuum cleaner, the impeller is right in front of the suction. So that means anything you vacuum up is going to hit that impeller and be destroyed. Yes, it will get destroyed. Trust me, I know that. So anyways, I recommend a shop vac because the impeller is at the end of the suction. This means when you suck the dirt off, it goes and drops into the, the shop vac case first. Pump is right here. That's where the impeller is. It's after the filter. So it sucks it up and it drops it in this case and then there's a filter and then after the filter is the impeller. On a home vacuum cleaner, on a lot of them, is you get your suction, you got your impeller, it flies past the impeller and gets stuck in the bag. If you use a home vacuum cleaner, you got a chance of sucking something up you didn't want to suck up and destroy it. Okay, and we don't want that. Now, my vacuum cleaner, I use this hose attachment, which is here, and it's got different ends on it. Get these two different ends that I can use to get into vacuum stuff. And on the end here, you can turn it for full vacuum or partial vacuum. But I always just keep my hand over it for full vacuum. But it's got these little holes in it, so you can only get partial. But I usually keep my hand pretty much over it so we can get full vacuum. And this I use just to brush out stuff. stuff Blah blah. Stubborn stuff. So let's put this part on and make some noise. Alright, it's going to get noisy, so. see already it's looking a thousand percent better but man look at that that dog hair it's just stuck all over everything Ugh.
much better. It's still dog hair galore. I'm still gonna have to fine tune all this and get all the dog hair off. But as you can see, it looks so much better already. And now you can actually read everything that's underneath it. So what I'm gonna do is get these all screwed back down. So I can get the vacuum on top and get them back. So why don't I just go through this whole board and vacuum it off and then um, we'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So um, let's just give you a before. So don't get dizzy on me now. Score motor is going to be a whole different thing, so that's still going to be dirty. I just want you to see all the dust and crud that's on here. I know a lot of people don't do this when they, um, look how clean it is. A lot of people don't do this when they, um, sell pinball machines. Look at that. We're going to clean all that up. A lot of people don't do this when they sell pinball machines. They get them so they work. But man, you get enough of that fur in there and you get a good spark, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to get a fire. So I'll even disconnect these Jones plugs off the board and vacuum underneath them. So I'm going to turn the camera off, throw on some beetles, come back to you when it's done. And we're gonna see how clean this machine is. It's gonna be beautiful. So we'll put you like that, we'll turn you off, and then we'll be back. All right, we are back. I just completely took everything off. As you can see in this first part, how we took it off. I took all this off, vacuumed it all out, cleaned and adjusted all the contacts. Oh yeah, I did mark them. I can't remember if I marked them. But um, what I have left to do is a score motor. There will be another video. And I think I'll do the diffuse block on another video. Oh, just a real short, tiny little one. Um, just in case everybody has never messed with their fuse block. But um, let's take you off and you can look around. Remember, if you, remember how it was before. See that fuse block, I still got to do. Uh, I'm gonna get in a manual focus. Oh, wrong way. Here, you can see the corrosion, how it's it's, it's shiny, and then it dives back into um, black. I will be cleaning all that off. These are new fuses, which is good. I haven't checked yet to see if they're the correct fuses, but you had a contacts are just all dirty. So I have to go through those yet. So, but anyways, um, got all the dirt out. What the dirt you do see is basically ground in dirt to the wood, but that's all clean. Like I said, I still gotta go through the score motor, take all that apart. So the dirt that's in there will come out when I take it apart. Here, I went through all that, as you can see, no more wire nuts, those are all soldered together, and then heat shrink tube. Um, I will be putting uh, another zip tie on here and one on the end here to just secure that a little bit better. But um, yeah, I pulled up the Jones plugs, laid them on the side, cleaned all underneath there, cleaned all. So I try to do attention to detail when I do these. Try to get them as clean as I can and 100% functional as they left the factory. They might not look 100% again because they got their age and their patina. But I do like age and patina. If I wanted a brand new 40 year old EM, 
I would actually send this out to an expert that does these because the level that this needs so this is like a $800 EM I would say easy $800 EM when I'm done um, if somebody fully restored it you know did all this and then the cabinet and play field I mean like brand new again this would probably be a $3,000 machine um, I don't have the time or the resources or whatever to do that and how many people out there really want to buy a $3,000 restored EM not many at all but I guess if it was something that you grew up with and you loved you would do it but yeah this coil is good it's just got the paper off there's nothing wrong with that but as you can see here's the brand new one um, yeah she looks good and then the play meter it's auto focus that 14,408 could be I don't know it could be it's a very clean game clean cabinet could it be it's all clean back here could it be I don't know I don't even know if this works we'll find out when um, I fire it up again but anyways yeah that's it um, uh, today our sponsor is number eight because number eight is great and um, go down in the description if you shop Amazon please click on one of those links before you do your shopping it just gives me a tiny little bit of Amazon's profit and it helps support the page and um, me making the videos if you enjoy these videos um, do that as a thanks um, for your entertainment and knowledge I hope you gained today watching this so let's put the camera back up and um, thanks again for watching hope you enjoyed this you can share it with somebody that might be into this share it with them anyways like subscribe thumbs up give me two if you can follow us on facebook marks big spin arcade and um later